Hey there folks, Ash here with some more Power Ranger news, a lot of Power Ranger news, so if you didn't know when I went to bed at midnight, a lot, a lot of news broke, so this news broke really early in the morning, we had the title name for season 28, Power Rangers Dino Fury, go watch that video if you haven't, I'll have a link to it at the end of the video, we got toys, a lot of lightning figure collection stuff, my Twitter's blowing up, I can't check it right now, but, um, a lot of a lot of lightning figure stuff and that's what I thought it was at first I was like oh they're announcing toys I can talk about this in the morning no Power Rangers Twitter and Hasbro announces basically the brand new next season of the show but let's talk about the toys because that's what I was originally going to talk about when I woke up this morning and I'm going to do it so we're going to look at them right now we've got them up on screen we've got Alpha 5 with Zordon plus the teddy bear that Alpha 5 has. Now, a lot of people are shitting on the Zordon, saying the face doesn't look that good. And yeah, the face doesn't look that well. It's like that one meme of those um, needle things where you can put your hand through it. That's what it looks like to me. But from what I've seen, once we go to the side, it looks like it can glow up and light up, and it sort of does look like Zordon when the lights are on it, so... We'll get into that in a bit later. A Morpher from Mighty Morphin. Now, this Morpher does look really nice. I like it how when these props come out that Hasbro was putting out, they give it a nice little stand for it, but this Morpher probably doesn't look like it's going to be as nice as a Legacy Morpher. No offense, Hasbro, because these coins kind of look like the coins that I had growing up. They were just painted gold or something like that. They look like the same shape, to be honest. I'll be real with you, they look like the same shape of the toys I had growing up back in the old Mighty Morphin days. Maybe if I find them and compare them when this comes out eventually, they will look the same. We're getting a Putty 2 pack. Now these two putties, if I remember correctly, they were in the Green Ranger Fighting Spirit thing that was a con exclusive or something. Um, if I remember correctly, it's now available online, the pre-order, but uh, these two putties came in like a free pack where you got um, MMPR Green, Fighting Spirit, and you got these two putties. These two putties are really good. I think um, uh, Eric Berry from, uh, not Ranger Danger, um, Ranger Command Power Hour um, said these are good for army buildings. And yeah, if you want to build like little stop motion movies or stuff like that, if you buy these in bulk, these are really cool. Really cool indeed. And of course, Psycho Green. Psycho Green, I'm really excited about. From what I remember, I think he's an exclusive. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I think he's an exclusive at certain stores, but you can get him online, from what I've heard. Um, we'll definitely go back and read Power Rangers Twitter here. Let's open up a tab. Now, let's look at the prices for these. I think these are American prices, unless when I click on it, it's going to change to Australian prices. I highly doubt it. So... Let's have a look at it because we can get some more screens of this thing. So we've got uh ba -ba -da -ba -da. uh ba -ba -da -ba -da. let's see, let's see. We've got this one, we've got the packaging. The packaging looks nice. I mean, it does look a bit weird with the Zordon and the tube, but I do love the packaging for the lightning figure collection. I mean, we've got the original five rangers on there. We've got the back of it. See, it looks more Zordon when it lights up. Now that could be like special effects with um fancy photography and stuff like that, but when that lights up, that looks more Zordon-like. Although it still looks a bit weird when it's like, like that, like that. That does make it look a bit weirder, so... Oh, uh, no, that's the wrong one. Yeah, so that looks very more Zordon when it lights up, when you look at it. It still looks weird. It still looks like a man frozen in the tube, but it is what it is. You can't get the distortion effect like they did on the TV show. Uh, he's got the teddy bear, which is adorable. I gotta admit, Alpha 5 having the teddy bear. I love that detail, because if you watched Mighty Morphin from Season 1 at the very beginning, Alpha 5 did carry around a teddy bear. They kind of dropped that later down the line. But yeah, and here he is holding the... Oh, that's so adorable. That is adorable. So that's Alpha 5 and Zordon. You can get that for... $30, um, if I remember, yeah, $30, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. MMPR Morpher, this is $50 if I remember correctly, so yeah, this is what the Morpher looks like, it's got the stand, the power coin, yeah, these power coins look very, very basic, I mean, um, ba -ba -da -ba -da. yeah, these definitely look like the coins I had growing up, same material, same sort of outline, 
I know they're not going to be Legacy Warriors or Bandai quality from 10 years ago or the Legacy line. Um, the boxing... Yeah, these look alright. I mean, these look really cool. I mean, Hasbro is slowly putting out MMPR props because, hey, we got to make our own MMPR props because um, stuff that Bandai put out is going out of print. So we got to make them sort of accessible and cheap and affordable for fans to buy. Now, there's still rumors of Lightning Collection Megazords, but we've heard nothing of that over the past month. I talked about that in, an in another video. Go watch it, please. Um, the Putty 2 pack. Let's look at that. Da, 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 da. Low wall, this is a different, oh this is a Pulse exclusive, okay. So Hasbro Pulse, I don't know what it is entirely, but um, yeah, this is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive, only, um, how many per customer? Two per customer, okay. Um, so you can't be like a guy who buys it in bulk, so uh, here are the putties. These look really cool. Um, They've got armor. I would like it if these putties. Oh, that's a nice box for the putties. I love the lightning collection art. I hope we get that by the graphics designer in like, sort of like with the Beast Morpher, um, the guy who did the Beast Morpher art like a couple of months ago. That's where we learned where Jack's name was originally going to be Skip. I hope like the artist for these um, box like comes out of the woodwork and we can see what he's done and just have it in PNG form because I love this artwork they use for the box. I mean, it's probably the one reason why I've got some of my Lightning Collection figures still in the box, because I don't want to keep the boxes lying around and the toys all over the place. So I've definitely still got my Lightning Collection figures in the box with the ones I can afford and I've picked up that I find in Australia. So yeah, that's the putty. And Psycho Ranger Green. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. And that's a Hasbro Pulse exclusive as well. I thought this was a Walmart exclusive, but... It, it could be a Pulse and a Walmart exclusive as well, so Psycho Green, a lot of people still don't know who Psycho Green is, which is really surprising. Um, a lot of people saying, hey, is this guy canon or was he in the show? I don't remember seeing him as a kid. Um, so I guess not a lot of people have seen the comics, so Psycho Green, um, it does say on this um, box, uh, in space Psycho Green, so yeah, pretty much. Like, I do like, I really, really do like these, um, designs. I'm definitely going to pick up Psycho Green. I might have to import that one. I don't know if Hasbro ships worldwide, but I definitely want to get Psycho Green for my collection. Um, but ba, -ba, -ba -da. let's view their Twitter. Because so I swear they said one of them was exclusive to Walmart. Um, exclusively at Walmart. Okay. Okay, that could be the pre-order site that they're doing. Um, Hasbro Pulse, Hasbro Pulse. So yeah, I think the Morpher might be a Walmart exclusive, but who knows if you'll be able to find it elsewhere. But yeah, anyway, those are the Power Ranger toys coming. I'm really excited. I definitely want to pick up the Psycho Green Ranger. Psycho Green is a fan favorite character of mine. He's my boy. I've always liked the character. I mean, I know he's very, like, he's one of those comic only characters that I really do enjoy. And he's become a fan favorite of mine. The Alpha one looks cool. If I could only get the Alpha, that'd be alright. But the Zordon does look cool as well. Um, putties, the putties look really nice as well. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da. The Morpher, the Morpher looks alright. Like, the coins are the only things I'm iffy on. But I'm probably never going to import these, all of them, because they cost money and stuff like that. But um, I'm, I'll never hold these in my hands. But like I say, the coins are, I'm a bit iffy on. They remind me of the old school coins from back in the day. But either way, these are really cool toys. And I'm excited we're getting a bunch of lightning figure collections throughout the year. And these look really really nice these are just going to be in their in their own waves in their own um exclusive packs and stuff like that um i had no idea on what the next wave is what wave are we on the lightning collections wave six wave six or wave five no wave six because wave five is coming out i keep seeing that on social media so we're in wave six wave five is out depending on what stores you go to and stuff like that um be careful going out to stores because social distancing and stuff like that but um yeah, these toys look really, really nice. I'm definitely going to pick them up, that's for sure. I definitely want to get my hands on them, especially Psycho Green. I'll have to import that somehow, some way. Some definitely, definitely. Um, if Angel Grove Collectibles gets um, uh, Psycho Green and they have it for a reasonable price, not like 
double the price how they have some because of the Australian dollar and stuff like that. Like, I'm willing to pay 40 bucks for Psycho Green, never take them out of the package and just have them on my shelf. But either way, I'm really excited for these Lightning Figure Collections. Tell me in the comment section which one you're excited for, which one are you going to pick up. When I was talking about these in the community post, a lot of people were telling me that they've pre-ordered some already. That's really cool, you guys are on this already. Um, yeah, so tell me which ones you want to pre-order. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out, and thanks for watching. Bye!